out for the Champions League final. Just what the doctor ordered. Hoovians head for the new exhibition, which is blending science and sci-fi. The Queen's Corgis, 50 life-size Platinum Jubilee pooches go on parade in Altrincham. The Northwest tonight. Well, the anticipation is really building. Coverage live here on BBC One of the Challenge Cup final on Saturday afternoon starts at two o'clock. So uh, we'll all be behind Wigan for the big final. Now, uh, you've probably recognised this, sound. and these are probably <laughs> pictures rather give it away, don't they? We can hear the TARDIS nonetheless. And after nearly six decades on our screens. Doctor Who, as you probably know, is the longest-running sci-fi TV show in the world. Fans, maybe you're one of them, often known as Whovians, will be able to see the Tardif and the Daleks, the Doctor's sworn enemy, of course, up close, at a new exhibition in Liverpool. It's called Doctor Who Worlds of Wonder. It officially opens at the City's World Museum tomorrow, but Stuart Pollock, lucky chap, has been able to get in early to give us this report. Me neither. I love not being ready. Three, two, one. <laughs> been on our screens for nearly 60 years. Now Doctor Who fans can step inside the TARDIS and into the show's history. What is it like to be the first person walking through here? Absolutely incredible to be able to come into a place that is celebrating a show that I've loved since I was a child is absolutely incredible. Yes, I'm sure you're positively awestruck. It's nearly Lady Cassandra. Loads of uh, fantastic props uh, and there's lots of interactive uh, displays. Uh, I think it's, um, it's sort of, you get a very good feeling for the show. So how long have you been working on this, Steve, and how long have you been waiting well, for this moment? the initial conversation was three years ago now. And we've been working. This lifelong Doctor Who lover is behind the exhibition, which aims to blend science and sci-fi. Well, I've been a fan since I was three years old, you know, back in the early 70s, watching uh, Tom Baker, and uh, you know, this is an absolute labour of love to work on a project like this. I, I struggle to think of any other TV programme that inspires such devotion in so many people. But there was definitely a remit to, to balance it with real-world science as well as the history of the show, but I think you know, when you love something, that just comes out naturally. And uh, you know, personally, if I had to choose a favourite, it would have to be the Cybermen. Well, here are Steve's favourites, the Cybermen in this room, full of monsters from the show and who can forget, of course, the famous Daleks. But there's also a section of this exhibition about Liverpool's links with Doctor Who. Dalek. Very primitive, but undeniably a Dalek. That goes deeper than famous former Doctors Tom Baker and Paul McGann. Sir Ken Dodd once had a cameo and John Bishop stars in the latest series. Don't work here, you're not a guide. Stop pretending to be official. I am official. Official scouts. If you've watched the latest series, um, you'll see that it was filmed at another of our venues, the Museum of Liverpool, which is just down on the waterfront. So many of the, um, the writers, the actors, um, people who have been involved in um, the creation of the show have, uh, are from Liverpool, have links to Liverpool. So we really wanted to kind of bring that out while we're staging it here. The Doctor may be able to travel through space and time, but fans have only until the end of October to catch this exhibition. Exterminate! Exterminate! Stuart Pollitt, BBC Northwest Tonight, Liverpool. So that's at the World Museum. Um, it opens tomorrow. The first few days are sold out and there is a small admission charge to get in or an admission charge. Um, so uh, if you want any more details, uh, just have a look at the uh, World Museum website. Now, back to matters to do with the Queen's Platinum Jubilee and...